All right, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Here we're going to discuss basic inverse functions and look at an example on inverse of radioactive de decay equation example that I did in my earlier video. You can see that on this by clicking this link or going to the video link below. But basically, I went through uh, an example on the half life of strontium. Uh, 90 here and it's the half-life is 25 years so I just basically found an exponential equation for the decay so basically if the half-life is 25 years or the uh, half of any given quantity of it will disintegrate or decay in 25 years this will part a of it says uh, if, an, if a sample of uh, SR90 is a mass of 24 milligrams fine expression for the mass T at, that remains after T years and so this is the exponential f function we got so now I want to do, an, do basically an example on finding the inverse of this equation and interpret what that means. Recall my earlier video on what inverse is. Yeah, so the inverse function, now just for a recap, is just y equals 2 f of uh, this one here. Uh, f, uh, f to the power of negative 1 x. And all this means is that if you have a function equals to y equals f of x, now we're going to be solving for the x inside. So x equals 2 f of y here. Yeah, so that's all we're going to be solving for. So in this case, we have to solve for the t here. So, and to do that, we got to take logarithmic of both sides. But first, before that, we got to simplify uh, this out. So what we could do is just to simplify this. We're going to have, let's call this m now, because it's not a function of t, because we're gonna be, it's going to be inside it. So now m divided by 24, divide both sides by 24. This equals to now 2 negative t divided by 25. So now we could ln both sides here, or logarithmic both sides. You see video link below and more on this procedure. Uh, so we just do ln of both. And the reason for this is so that this goes down. If you uh, also recall in the logarithmic properties, uh, this would go down. And we're going to have ln yeah, yeah, ln m, tw m divided by 24 equals to negative t25 times ln 2. So it goes down and we can solve easily for t here. So then we could uh, just rearrange this, multiply both sides by 25 here. It's 25 multiplied by 25 and divide bo both sides by ln 2. So these, so then this, all the stuff cancels divided by ln 2 and we're going to get now... Yes, yeah, so we're going to get this equation equals to negative t. Let's, let's get the positive version. So we're going to get t is equal to negative 25. Yeah, tw negative 25 ln m divided by 24 ln 2 here. Yeah, so this is our equation for t. And uh, this negative, uh, we're not going to get negative time because this inside here, this m divided by 24, if it's if its uh, absolute value is less than 1, we're going to be negative as well. So if this is, uh, let's say, m over 24 it's usually less than yeah so it has to be less than less than one and then we're gonna get uh, this is gonna be a negative here so this this lawn function would be less than uh, less than z zero and we're gonna have a negative one here and then the negative times negative we're gonna get a positive value so we have this function here so what the inverse means is just uh, now we're gonna get f uh, f inverse of m is equal to, well, this one right here, 25. Yeah, so ln m24 divided by ln 2 here. Yeah, now if we interpret this equation, what this is saying is that basically it means that it is the time required for the strontanium 90 to decay to m uh, milligrams here. So if we want to know what the time required to decay to, let's say, m is equal to 25, um, equals to 5 milligrams, like in the uh, example on the, the one on my earlier video here is so let's just plug that in here so now we're gonna get t is equal to f of uh, negative 5 here so this is the time required to for the 24 milligram mass to decay to 5 milligrams this just equals to now negative 25 ln 5 divided by 24 ln 2 so now let's just plug this into the equation into a calculator so yeah, if we plug this into google calculator here just negative 25 times ln uh, 5 divided by 24 divided by ln 2 we're gonna get this equation uh, this answer right here which is the exact same as my earlier video so 56.6 roughly so yeah it takes uh, roughly 56.6 years to decay to 5 milligrams so now if we graph this equation here this uh, inverse of it's a negative 25 ln x uh, etc and also graph just the horizontal line at 56.6 in Google Calculator, we're going to get this function right here. So this is only uh, makes sense up to uh, until this fun gets negative because negative, you can't get a negative time. So remember, the vertical axis is time. So now this 56.6 years, as you see, it hits here, and this is where the 5 is right there. So that's roughly where, let's say 5. Yeah, so that's where 5 milligrams. And also, if you want to see when the entire thing... Uh, decays that's 24 milligrams so up to right here so as you can see it's zero times so it's kind of going backwards 
So the decay to 24, it take it's at time equals to zero, which is zero years because it's already there. And then as you as you decay is closer closer to zero, the time increases, etc. So you're 56 years, and it goes to let's say 80 years, you get around uh, three-ish, uh, three milligrams. Well, uh, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this. Yeah, actually, I just copy and pasted this uh, here. So yeah, remember you can download these notes in Dropbox link below. You can see this graph and uh, all these notes. And so hopefully you learned from this example, and also go make sure to watch the earlier example on the exponential functions on uh, the strontium 90 decay. Well, that's all for today, and uh, stay tuned for another math easy solution.